Hello everyone, welcome to this video where I will try to install a new BIOS for the Latte Panda. So um, I never did it, so we will try together. We will see if this is easy or complicated. So what's the point of installing a new BIOS? Uh, it's because I want my Latte Panda to boot uh, Windows as soon as it's plugged in the power. I don't want to have to press the power button. So to do this, you go to the forum of the Latte Panda official website. And in general discussion, there is a thread about this, which is called um, auto start on power on. And here uh, people were asking about this. So the guys from the team, from Latte Panda team, they provided a link, a link to the GitHub repository. Mm, by entering this link, you have access to, to, to these files. Just press download zip. We are downloading it right now. I hope it will not take so too long in this video. And um, you need to plug a USB, mm, a USB pen drive. So I hope my pen drive will not cause too much problems. Let's see, mm, not there. Meanwhile, meanwhile, finish it downloading and my driver D, my, where is it? Where is it? Because it's very strange. Oh, okay, it's there. So what you need to do now, apparently from their explanations, um, is that you take this the pen drive and you just simply unzip um, the BIOS uh, yeah, first you, of course, you extract the file that you downloaded and then as soon as this is done, you enter this, this folder and you need apparently to, st to enter inside BIOS folder and then you enter into auto power on BIOS. Okay. And once this is done, you need to select, of course, the version of your Latte Panda. So in my case, it's the uh, four gigabytes. Um, you take everything that's in there. This is what I understood from the explanations. You copy it and then you uh, paste it on a pen drive. This pen drive needs to be first uh, formatted. So you just right click format. Uh, you need to select, of course, FAT32 uh, file system and for allocation, allocation unit site. Don't don't bother. You just mm, can select default if you want. Um, I will do quick format here right now. But it's if you had some files before on this um, storage, it's better for you to not select quick format but do a standard format. Okay. Once this is done. Let's open our little USB drive and uh, paste all those files that we mm, had from the folder. Right now, what they are saying, let's let's check together um, in the help. They say to do what? They say um, we should reboot the wall Latte Panda um, with the pen drive connected. This is here. How to refresh the Latte Panda? format your USB disk to FAT. We did it. Copy the right BIOS mm -hmm. file directly to root on the USB flash disk. This is what we did. Plug the U disk in the USB host. It's done. Plug in the micro USB cable and power on the system. So this is what we will do right now. And we are ready to go. So here I have still my pen drive. Um, loaded, I don't know if you see, yeah, loaded with the files that we put on it. And now I will um, reboot the, the Latte Panda. So to do that, I will just press uh, power, oh shit, power and restart. And we will see if uh, the little panda um, detects the BIOS files and everything goes well.
so for now no signal uh, the latte panda oh okay fine so now it seems that we have the as the guide says we have the firmware uh, utility appearing mm, okay and the, the the steps are just going uh, accordingly to, to, to the steps described on the website. So, erasing main block. So, according to the website, uh, we have still few steps to go, but so far so good. Everything is going accordingly to the plan. Uh, this step is a bit longer, but after this erasing main block, we have still uh, one, two, three, four, five steps. The little latte panda is still blinking. Well, actually, actually, it's blinking because I loaded the blinking LED example uh, you know, schema on the Arduino, so it's not related in fact. If anyone knows how I am supposed to stop the Arduino from executing the you know the code, it would be nice to tell me. <laughs> okay, and since that now we ended up on this very final uh, line that the GitHub uh, guide says, which is FS1. So now what we can do is to we, we, we can uh, unplug the, the USB uh, pen drive and uh, we can just uh, press uh, control alt delete so I hope everything went fine and we will find out in a second I just want to make sure that Windows um, starts properly and if it's the case uh, I will just then unplug the Latte Panda from the power and plug it again and we will see if the Latte Panda starts without even my intervention, like without even touching the, the little power buttons. Alright, so Windows started, so now it's time for the test. So I will just um, now, um, I will uh, switch off, of course, um, the, I will switch off the Latte Panda because it would be not nice to just unplug the cord like this. So I will just um, sign out. No, I will. Shut down, just shut down the system, and as soon as um, this red uh, LED, where is it? As soon maybe as the red LED switches off, or should I not care about it? I don't know. Anyway, the system is not activated, so I will just unplug the cord and plug it back. Okay, power cord off. And power on and now let's see what's happening the red LED is the red LED is lighting up and here I'm hoping now 
that our Latte Panda will yeah by itself just boot and that's that's it that means that this BIOS um, update uh, went well and that it means that the solution that the guys from Latte Panda team uh, offered on the forum fulfills all the needs and it's kind of easy to do as we saw because it was the first time I was doing that and it worked so cheers guys see you